morning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're rolling them through today, and I am tickled to death. We have got a uh, brand new documentary that's coming out, and we have got the founder of uh, Care for Children. He's going to tell you all about it, Robert Glover. How are you, sir? Oh, good morning. Yes, very well, thank you. Yeah, man, you're calling me across the pond, man. Where do you, where do you live at? Yeah, I live in uh, Norfolk, um, which is probably is in in England. Um, and Norfolk is probably a little bit like Georgia, Tennessee. It's very kind of um, rural um, right. countryside. Beautiful. Sounds beautiful. Hey, this this mm. children, this, uh, uh, the children. Care for children. Yeah, care for children, but you got the new documentary coming out that is, uh, that, you know, that's kind of what we want to talk about. Tell us a little bit about it because you actually founded this. You moved to China. You got a lot of stuff going on. Cause tell our listeners kind of what's going on. Yeah, well, I mean, I went there uh, 20 years ago and I helped uh, to place these young babies. And I went back in 2018 and made this uh, film, this movie about the kids and that they come to. And it's just phenomenal. Amazing transformation. Um, little little girl who had cerebral palsy. We didn't think we'd be able to get a family for her, but um, she presented me in 2018 with her gold medal that she'd won at the Special Olympics. Oh, Sydney. that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think these families have done amazing jobs. They are the heroes. Um, and, you know, just seeing these five stories in, in Children of Shanghai, fantastic outcomes for family placement in but adoption now, and fostering. But now that's what you're doing. You're placing children with families that have no families, right? That's correct. Uh, well, in, you kind of uh, introduced 1990- like foster care, yeah. right? You kind of introduced that in China. Is that not true? Well, it's a little bit different to the U.S. foster care. In the U.K., we have something called permanency planning. Um, it's an opportunity to foster long term. So if you can't afford to adopt, the state will work with you so these children can have forever homes and families, but a lot of the financials come from the government. So that's what we introduced to China, and um, yeah, 20 years ago, we've just seen a whole generation of these orphans that are abandoned now living in families, and what a difference that's made. Oh, man, I know that's right. You know, these kids kind of get left out, and people don't think about it, you know, but I guess in China, you know, they, they still have a limit on, on children that they can have. Well, that, we helped them change that as well. Um, but uh, during our time there, when we first went, uh, they had a one-child policy. Um, my wife and I had six children. And we were senior consultants to the Chinese government on social welfare for children. Right. So we all had a bit of a laugh about that because, you know, here's a state that's got a one-child policy, and uh, they're hired to play. got six kids, so we just helped to break down some of that. Well, that's great. Now, this new documentary coming out, you actually got Bear, Bear Grylls is the... Uh narrator that's right he's a good friend bear grills is a good friend of mine we're we're christian and we're in the same sort of christian uh, circles and uh right. so uh he he narrated it and uh he, he's you know he's a man loves a challenge he's been over to china he's seen it he's passionate about it he's passionate about family and you know mums and dads and so you know it's been a it's been a great support to us yeah, he seemed like a good guy. Of course, I watched this series, you know, and uh, I live in Georgia, but I can tell you right now, if I, if I got lost in the wilderness, I'd probably die, according to... <laughs> You'd be well, okay if you had Bear with you. Yeah, I'd be off if I had him, but I didn't have him. It's over with. Well, you I'm, could live off your body fat for at least 10 days. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, uh. Now, when... <laughs> 
<laughs> when is this document? Is, is this thing has been has it been released yet, or when is it going to be released? Yeah, well, we we um, it was released in the UK in June right. on Sky TV, and then in September we released it in Cincinnati, and it's gone right across all the. If you go on to the website Children of Shanghai, you'll see all the. Um, the what do you call them? The platforms that you have there in the UK, and you can get it on, uh, in the US. There's many, many platforms that you can, you know, get the documentary. So now, this documentary is about five children that y'all have placed. Is that what? Is that basically what the documentary is about? Yeah, it's five of the million. You know, we know that over a million children were placed during that twenty years. Um, we we got access to five. And boy, are they five amazing stories. Right. Um, you know, it, when when, it, when they told me you can only have five, I thought, oh, this is going to be hard work because normally you need like a hundred to choose five from. But these five were incredible. Right. Um, they're incredible stories. Well, it's, it's really interesting, no doubt. Let, let me ask you another question. As far as the funding yep. and stuff like that, or if people wanted to get involved with y- your organization and maybe send you a little money or something like that, could they do that? Absolutely. You know, we're trying to digitalize now our uh, training and our methodology so we can take it to other countries. Right. Our charity is called Care for Children. It's www.careforchildren.com. And, um, you know, we always say, look, it took us 20 years to do one country. Right. Wouldn't it be fantastic by digitalizing it if we could, in one year, do 20 countries? Well, now, can you place these children in any country? Like, if, if the people here are listening, they're like, well, you know, I, I would like to adopt a, a child. Could they adopt a uh, through y'all? Not through us. They they can. Of course, international adoption happens, and we're, we're very for that and very pro that. But what we do is work with the government for social welfare reform. Right. So they have a system in place for their children in their country. You know, uh, so these are Chinese children in Chinese families in China, which, right. in, you know, it, there's a great need for that. Yeah. Yep, I guarantee it. Well, man, I sure do appreciate you uh, uh, coming on here. Robert Glover is who we're talking to, and he's got a brand-new documentary film coming out. It's actually about his life where him and his wife and kids moved there and then made a big change. Yeah. I mean, you know, amazing. I'm going to tell you something, man. For what you've done, it's just amazing that that, that y'all have accomplished what you have uh, in the time that you've done it. Well, you know what, Stephen? The only thing we did was be obedient and have faith to go. Um, right. We we believe in a, in in God and we believe that God did the rest. Well, I'm with uh, you on we, that. All we did is go on the plane. Yep, yep, I'm with you on that. So that would be it. Children of Shanghai dot com, right? Hello. The trailer. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's, that's the trailer. Children of Shanghai dot com. Right. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I think if you just scroll down, you can see all the uh, platforms where you can get it. Um, so. I'm not going to try and pronounce all those things. Oh, I'm with you on that. How about uh, the Care for Children? Do y'all have a website for that also? Yeah, yeah. So careforchildren.com. That's um, easy, no? Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. So, so all right. careforchildren.com. You say, see, we now we're working in uh, China, Thailand, Cambodia, Thailand. Uh, sorry, Vietnam, and uh, we've even well, we've just been asked to work in Indonesia as well. Wow. Um, so we always work with governments because that's sustainable. You know, it makes it work long term. Well, that's great. Well, man, I sure do appreciate it. And we wish you all the best and going to keep up with all this and can't wait to watch this. And uh, this is very interesting. Like I said, I appreciate what you're doing for the children. Uh, I'm kind of connected uh-huh. with a lot of kids because I'm actually a bus driver. And so I get to see, you know, I get to see the broken families. I get to see that kind of stuff yeah. up close and personal. And, I, you know, you, your heart bleeds for these kids. And uh, I appreciate what you're doing. Well, I love your country. I love your people. In November, I'm going to be in Chattanooga with my friends there. I just love Tennessee, Georgia. It's uh, my favorite place. Well, you're only about 75 miles Yeah, you get to Chattanooga, give me a call. I'll take you out. We'll get you some grits and sweet tea. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, go to, I, I mean, it's, I haven't traveled for two years, but um, I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends in Chattanooga. All right. Well, good deal. We'll be looking for you. You get here, we give you a holler. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, right, man, thank you, thank you very much. All right, cheers. What an interesting guy. That's, oh man, I mean, great honestly. work that they've done. No, tremendous work. Thank you for spending a little time with us. And remember, you can tune in every morning at wjulradio.com at eight a.m. Eastern. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, The Morning Dish.